Hello and welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video I'm going to be going over browser support and why it's important to test your websites on different browsers. Now when I first started out I was coding and testing my websites on Firefox and this was just before Google Chrome came about and since then I've been using Chrome but when I first started making the transition I assumed that any websites I coded for Firefox would work exactly how it should on Chrome and vice versa but I was quite naive to the situation and didn't realize how many browsers there were and what the difference between them were. Um, this is why we have vendor prefixes when using certain CSS rules and it's why we have a lot of normalize used in CSS because every browser likes to put its own styles onto a web page. Now one feature that you code in CSS or JavaScript or anything like that may not be available on the other browsers. As you can see, Safari 3.1 is available. Um, I doubt anyone's still using it. And there's, say, Chrome version 59. Now, if there was someone using Chrome version 59 and someone using Safari 3.1, the support for CSS rules and all the other sort of HTML rules and whatnot are going to be very, very different. So. It's important to test your websites on several browsers and not just one. Now, I'm on a Windows machine, so Chrome and Firefox are definitely available to me, and they should be available to your operating system, seeing as they are widely supported. Um, one or two browsers that might be exclusive to Windows are Edge and Internet Explorer. Um, but then, if you're on a Mac computer, you'll be able to get hold of Safari, whereas I won't. Another one that's quite popular is Opera, and if you want to see what supports your rules that you're using in your website, so say you're using Flexbox, you can search on caniuse.com, and as you can see, Flexbox is supported by the majority of browsers globally and the majority of browsers in my country. But as you can see, Internet Explorer, which 0.5% of the UK use, which is still one in 200 users of my website potentially will not be able to support the features I'm using. So you kind of have to weigh up the options and see which, whether or not a feature is worth losing a certain percentage of your audience. Um, there's a lot you can do as backing up um, support for your rules such as at support but I'm not going to go into that because it's a bit more technical and this is meant to be a beginner video for developers. But if you are on a Mac operating system and you wanted to test on Internet Explorer, you can sign up for something like Browser Stack, which is a paid service. But I've signed up for a half hour free trial. And I can go into Windows, and I could pick out Edge, and it'll start to emulate Edge in my browser. It's actually connecting to a computer which has this installed. And now I'm in the Internet Explorer or the Edge browser, should I say, and I can copy a link. So, for example, if I wanted to test out my university's website, I can enter that into that, and it will emulate it inside the browser, and I can test out the features. So you can test out local development websites on this. So if you've got an offline website, or you have a website which is actually on a server being served to your users, you can use a service like this to test it out. And so we have iPhone 6, which I don't own personally, but I might want to test out my website on. You can actually choose the size of the device, which is a cool feature I didn't know about. And now it's actually connecting to a real world device. So it's emulating it in your browser, but it's actually connecting to a, de a device in the real world. It's not just, you know, inspect element. Um, so if I go to the browser, click go, and there we have the uh, university website. I can test out all the features on this and make sure that it works correctly. Um, one thing you can do from within the Chrome browser is you can right click, inspect, and when you have your developer tools open, you can click onto Toggle Device Toolbar, which I'm aware is available now in Firefox and I think maybe Edge. 
And what it does is it will emulate the screen size and you can choose different devices. You can even go into edit and pick out specific devices that you might want to test on. So say I know that my users are going to be using a Nokia N9 for whatever reason I think they might be, then I can include that and then the Nokia N9 and we have it being emulated. We can change the orientation and it's a great way to test out what the website might look like but the best way to test the website on a certain device is to actually get a hold of that device or use a service like browser stack so that's a little video on browser support and why it's important i highly recommend downloading a couple of browsers and testing out websites that you've coded inside those browsers and seeing the differences between them because as i said some features are different in different browsers but even some native HTML5 features such as input types, such as input type date, which I thought was widely supported, isn't supported in Firefox. So definitely check out caniuse.com, find out what features are supported in what browser, and give those browsers a test.